Welcome to Balance Now Zen and Pow. My name is Stephanie and today I'm giving you a chakra yoga flow. We're going to move through each chakra doing one pose for each starting with the root and making our way up to the crown. We're going to start with the root chakra in child's pose. So bringing the toes together, we're going to sit the knees wide, pressing our glutes onto our heels the best we can, and then either bringing the hands stacked under the forehead, we can bring the arms back behind, or we can reach the arms out in front to stretch and open the chest, just bringing that third eye, the forehead down to the mat. So just staying here, so to release and breathe into the mat, relaxing the shoulders, sitting back into the lower body, and focusing on grounding into the earth. That's what the root chakra is all about, is keeping us grounded with our base, our feet, our legs, and just breathing. Imagining the color red. Just starting to find that breath, breathing in and out through the nose. Let's inhale, rising up to a tabletop position. Tucking our toes, we're gonna press back to down facing dog, engaging the abdominals. Take that exhale back. Just start to walk the feet. Pressing one heel, bending the opposite knee, letting the head hang in between the biceps. We're gonna move into pigeon pose for our sac sacral chakra, our second chakra. Let's inhale, sending that left leg back. If it feels okay, we can bend the knee and open the hips, still pressing evenly into the hands. Exhale, bringing the knee through the chest, extending that right leg straight, keeping equal weight on both hips. And then just inching those back toes to open that right hip, pulling the shoulders back, or we can hinge from the hips. We can also bring the block under the forehead, just relaxing the upper body, the upper back. We exhale, pressing back up, and moving to the other side, press back to down dog. Inhale, send the right leg back, we can bend the knee, open the hips, squaring the shoulders down. Exhale, bring the knee through, extend the left leg straight, and again, we can bring the forehead to the block, or extend it all the way down to the mat. The next chakra, the third chakra, is the solar plexus our power, our self-determination. We're going to keep those elbows grounded and we're going to step back into a forearm plank. So from here, engaging the abdominals, the elbows stay right under the shoulders, grounding into the palms, pressing back into the heels, pulling that solar plexus to the spine. If this is too much, we can always drop the knees. Breathe in here, finding an intention. Imagine the color yellow. As we inhale, slowly release the knees, moving on to the fourth chakra, the heart chakra. To open the heart, we're going to move into camel pose. We can either keep the tops of the feet down, or we can flex the feet to give us a few inches. We can either do two fists on the lower back as we inhale, opening the heart center. We can do hands on the hips. We can take one arm back, one arm up, or we can take both arms back. Lift and lengthen through that heart center, sending out love, compassion, engaging the core. Breathe into that breath. Inhale and exhale. Imagining that color green, bright emerald green. And as we exhale, we're going to swing the legs around and set up for shoulder stand. Shoulder stand for our throat chakra, fifth chakra. Chakra of communication, creativity. A couple options here for a modified shoulder stand. We can bring the block right under the tailbone and the lower back, taking those legs straight up. And we're kind of closing the throat chakra here, pulling the shoulders down. If we want to take that full shoulder stand, using those elbows to lift the hips, bringing those toes straight up to the sky, engaging the core, and again, closing that throat chakra. We can also take it back into corpse. Continue to breathe and imagine that bright blue color. As we exhale, release, roll it down, and come up to a standing position. 
For our third eye, our chakra of intuition, inner wisdom, that bright indigo, we're going to move into eagle pose. So, balancing on the right foot first, we're going to either cross the leg over, keeping the toes down, or we can lift the leg, wrapping it completely, bringing that left arm up, right arm comes around, either back of the hands, palms together, or pulling the shoulders down. We're going to look through our third eye. We can stay tall, or we can start to squat as we bend into the knees. Finding our focal point in front, engaging our abdominals, cross into the arms, squeeze the legs together, and breathe into that third eye. One more inhale. Exhale and rack, same thing on the other side. Balancing on the left foot, cross it over. Right arm up, left arm around, either palms, and back of the hands, shoulders. I like to look through the third eye here. Finding that balance point, engaging the core, and always keep the toe down as well. Keep breathing. One more inhale, and exhale, release, unwrap. Our last pose is for the crown chakra. We're gonna use our block, and we're gonna bring our crown of our head down to the mat. So taking the legs nice and wide for a wide leg forward fold. Keeping those hands right on the hip crease or the lower back, inhale, lift. As we exhale, we wanna hinge from the hips. Start to stretch the backs of the legs and start to bring the fingertips down to the mat. If we need to take our feet wider, we can. And from here, we're gonna bring the crown of the head down to the block, either keeping it the tall way or maybe coming down lower. We can reach the arms out in front. We can bring them to the legs. We can bring them back. Just looking back behind us, breathing into our crown, our enlightenment, transcendence, transformation, our spirituality. Start to jump the feet in, roll it up nice and slow. Take a big inhale at the top and exhale, knowing that you just balanced your chakras through a few yoga poses. You can do this any time of day. Anytime you feel you need a little bit more balance, maybe rejuvenation in your life. I hope you enjoy it. Have a great day. Namaste.